Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, so we had a, a tornado Saturday evening in Suffolk, and uh, this was down on the ground for about two miles. It formed just north of a boundary, or near a boundary, rather. Uh, it was turned into a kind of a warm front, and we had some upper-level energy as well. So an EF1 was the rating on this. Luckily, no injuries, no fatalities reported, so that's great news, but there were some reports of damage in this path, and this was crossing Highway 58 a couple of times as it moved to the east and dissipated near the Great Dismal Swamp. So we did have a tornado over the weekend. Now, currently, we're more stable. We've got cooler air in the region, so we're not expecting severe weather today, but there's still a few heavy downpours and an isolated thunderstorms not out of the question. We got low pressure nearby. It will move east and southeast. It'll take some time, plus there's a little wind shift in here. I think once that comes through later on this morning and through the afternoon, then uh, that'll really stabilize things. So uh, right now, or today rather, highs will be near 70 degrees. Upper 60s, to low 70s. Warmer temps to the south, 40s and 50s to the north. And then tomorrow, highs will be pretty much just solid in the 60s. Uh, it's going to be cooler, but look at all the warm air building to our west. That will slide east through the week. We'll be probably near 80 by Thursday. So at the moment, a few spotty showers northeast North Carolina. There's not too much here. Uh, also the south side, spotty showers. There's one in Suffolk going into the Great Dismal Swamp. There's sprinkles and drizzle in other locations all over the place. So just keep that in mind. Where you don't see green, you may have some drizzle. And then a few showers getting into uh, the uh, Oyster Point area pretty soon, coming out of Smithfield and Surrey County, pushing up into James City County, York County. You've got a few. Now we had that heavy rain over Gloucester County, Matthews, and Middlesex County. Now that's crossing the water. That is on the way to the eastern shore, and it's going to put down a real heavy downpour in the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes. It looks like it slowed down slightly, but now it's it's picking up again as it crosses the water. So about 15 to 25 minutes over on the eastern shore, some of that heavy rain will be there. Parksley and Melfa, namely. Now, Future Track has these showers that we just saw moving out for a time, and then we get some more showers coming in again late morning through the early afternoon. This will be that wind shift coming through. Notice winds turn out of the northwest. A few more showers between 3 and 6 o'clock. Not an all-day washout, but take the umbrella. You're going to need it and the rain jacket. It's a little cool out there. Overnight, partly cloudy, isolated showers. And then tomorrow, I'm still calling for isolated showers. Our model wants to keep this raining along the coast. I think it's overdoing it a little bit, but I do agree that there'll be some isolated showers at least out there, maybe up to scattered. So that'll be through the day, uh, kind of in and out again. But not a washout, far from it, in fact. And I'm thinking that this will kind of go down as we get closer to that event, the, uh, or closer to the day, rather. So stay tuned for updates. Rainfall going forward, not much. Our, our model backed off a little bit. It's calling for hundreds of an inch. I think a couple tenths of an inch will be uh, pretty common across the area. So maybe a quarter of an inch or so. Temps, mid to upper 50s, got lots of clouds. Upper 60s, Virginia Beach. 70 Norfolk, Portsmouth. 70 in Killable Hills, lots of clouds, scattered showers. Upper 60s, Hampton, Gloucester. 67 in Melfa. Tomorrow, isolated shower, 68, and then 73 Wednesday.